We're going to be potting up a tabletop garden. I'm so excited for you all to see the plants in the range of containers that we're going to be using today. I'm so excited about that because it's going to give you the opportunity to see why I collect the way that I do. Container gardening is becoming more popular than ever. But normally, fads or garden trends go in and out. But one thing I've done consistently in my garden is I stay consistent and true to gardening in containers, which is why I have so many. We are going to go gather some containers and then we'll come back because we're going to continue planting these up. And then I also have some surprises for you that I think you'll be excited to see, especially this early in the season. I have one more pot that I need to get, but it's just over here in this corner. I'm getting my green tea fix. I'm drinking green tea today. I had no cup of coffee today. What did you have? Did you have coffee or did you have tea? Drop down in the comment box. Let me know. You guys know how we do over here on Garden Queen. Let me know what you drink. Are you a coffee drinker or are you a tea drinker and or both? So you can see that I have these half pots and I have one that's a little bit bigger, one that's smaller and then a miniature half pot size. And this is how we're going to spark off our container collection here. And we're also going to be potting up some hydrangeas today. It's going to be very cute. This one is a little dusty. Okay, we'll swap this out. These type of pots are typically called azalea pots. We're not gonna be using these for azaleas. We are gonna be using these for hydrangeas today. And I'm so excited for you all to see everything that we're gonna pot up in this collection. Okay, so we have this filled up with soil. I probably don't need that much, but I can go ahead and transfer some of the soil over into this container right here. And I'll set these right here. Because they're making quite a bit of noise. Perfect. We have our blue right here. I want to add some more blue. So we'll just use some pansies.
All right, so I do have two more containers here. I wanna fill these up, but let's get these out on the table real quick because we have a hydrangea that I wanna pot up that's going into a different room with a different container. We'll put our first hydrangea right here and then we're gonna just fill this table up with various type of plants. So the entire table is going to be engulfed with terracotta as well as other blooms. I'm so excited about this hydrangea, but in order to complete what we're doing, let's go ahead and let's wash out the vessel that we're gonna be using for our other hydrangea arrangement. And we'll continue to come in and just fill this table up. And it's gonna be just amazing. I might add a little bit more white in there, but for right now, I think I wanna stretch and just really just showcase the blues today. Put a little dish soap in here and we'll wash this out real quick. All right, we're gonna use another low bowl and then we'll start going to the high neck so we can play with the level a bit. A smaller high neck and a larger high neck. So again, we're showing our range of containers here. Can you all hear the birds chirping? I have my door open and so it's like so peaceful, but I really should close it because that bird that's outside in my window box, yeah, that bird right there has come inside of the sunroom, y'all, or my makeshift greenhouse. I 
I am going to use a small little piece of screen here on even the inside of the smallest container here. And I'll just take my dibbler and just push it on down so it's flat and it doesn't create air or space at the bottom here. And it'll just conform to the pot just like that. We'll continue filling, so we'll go pot by pot and we'll take them outside. We are losing light, but I'm confident that if I hurry up, you'll be able to see which direction that I'm going with this. So the simplest one to pot up will be our first one here. And that's just a small container. So this just needed one. hydrangea here i did add some silver here which still falls under the blue table we even have our smaller one but we do have more space here on the table that we can go in and add more containers everything is very cheerful and i like the way it looks so we'll continue to work on this arrangement here but i'm loving the shades of blue the different violas. So we have a viola here that has more of that blue color, yellow throat, and then more of a purple. And then we have one that's more like a blue. And then our hydrangeas here. Look at that. And these will flush out.
One of the skills that I feel like I've really mastered is propagation. Whenever I see a hydrangea that's different, if I'm at someone's home, and some of you all may say it's tacky, but I'm telling you, real gardeners understand, can I take a cutting from that? Take a cutting, I'll put it in a plastic cup. If they don't have a plastic cup on hand, I'll ask for a bottle of water, drink the water, and then I'll go ahead and I will dip my cutting inside of my water bottle. And or what I'll do is I'll take some paper towel, get the paper towel wet, wrap it around the base of it. That way my cuttings have the best chance that they can have. Now, I am totally obsessed with white hydrangeas. They're so beautiful. They give an absolute amazing show in the garden. I feel like they give an even prettier show in the home. So what I wanted to do with this arrangement was the room that is going into there is definitely going to complement the space, but I wanted to show emphasis to the entire plant. So I wanted my vessel to disappear, if you will. So I came in and I used this glass vase here. Very easy to use. There is not a drainage hole in the bottom of it because I also use this for floral arrangements as well. I also will use this as a fruit bowl. Anytime I'm picking out a vase, I'm looking at that vase from a different angle as to not only can I use it for a vase, can I also use this for potted flowers. In order to make this design work, I used some white gravel that was previously used for one arrangement or the next. And I did not want fresh rock. I wanted that tan color to come through that was already giving the rock a patina because it's gonna be perfect for the space that it's going in. I took my hydrangea, put the hydrangea in the top, I went around the bottom and I took these beautiful pansies that I had on hand and they're giving that lavender color. But then I also used some of the pansies that had a white background, but then also the ones that have more of a lavender look for this arrangement. This hydrangea is budded up and this is going to stay in bloom for quite some time. One of the things that I love most about this container is just the shape, the design of this container. I absolutely adore the glass feet that's on here. By using a glass vase, I'm able to give a nod to the science aspect of a container because sometimes when we have these containers growing, we see all of the leaves, the blooms on the outside, but there's so much more going on on the inside. So I love that we can definitely use the rocks as an architectural detail, the soil as the architectural detail. And as this hydrangea continues to stay in this container, you will begin to see the roots stretch out inside of this container and those two will also become an architectural detail. As I had these hydrangeas planted up last season in my garden, I totally took note to the characteristics and how large the blooms. This is one bloom right here and it is bigger than the size of my hand. Now granted, I am 6'4", okay? So my hand is pretty large but I'm still able to showcase that the bloom is a lot bigger than my hands. And when I'm looking for hydrangeas, those are the characteristics that I look for versus the trend of, oh, get this hydrangea, it's hot. No, I'm looking for what type of beauty can the hydrangea provide for me in my garden, and in this case, in the inside of my home as well. Let me know, do you all propagate hydrangeas? Do you propagate any type of plants? Really one of the things that I look forward to, and if you have not checked out my video on how to propagate hydrangeas, I think it's certainly worth doing such. Or unless you wanna spend all that money, it's up to you. Now let's get this hydrangea in its place.